Welcome to another pixelforlife.com video tutorial. In today's lesson we're going to learn how to make some cool metal text that has some color dashed in. So to start we're going to create the background. To do this go to filter, render, lens flare with your black background. Put your brightness around 160, 50 to 300 millimeter zoom right around in the middle and hit OK. Then go to filter, render, difference clouds. From there we're going to go to filter, or actually I'm sorry, uh, image adjustments and desaturate that. And from there we'll go to distort and glass. We want to use the settings 22 and 100 and hit OK. And you'll see here the glass starts to show up. Now we want to go ahead and create another layer on the bottom making that black. And then on the layer here we want to put that to overlay, uh, or not overlay, I'm sorry. So leave it on normal and just drop that opacity down some to around to around 25 percent. That looks pretty good. With that, we'll go ahead and start creating our text. I'm using the font type stencil STD, and it's a cool looking font. It does a good job, so um, I suggest it. 147 bold. We're just going to go ahead and center that up here. Once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and go into our layer styles. First thing we want to do is drop a shadow on that. And then we're going to go ahead and do a stroke. And we're going to make this stroke be a little bit lighter gray color, as you can see here. Hit OK on that. We'll go ahead and make sure satin is on. We'll make sure bevel and emboss is on as well. And we'll use a chisel hard on that. And we're going to want to bring that size down to about like that. Inner shadow, we'll take away all of the uh, distance on that. We'll up that choke and size just a hair, just to kind of make the text look metalish, as you can see. And on that bevel and emboss, if you click on stroke emboss, sometimes it can look cool doing other effects to it. And so I'll leave it on stroke emboss. And from there, I want to go to pattern overlay. And I just want to select this pattern right here, which is in the default patterns. And as you can see here, it's really big, so I want to actually scale this down to around 25%. As you can see here, maybe even a little bit smaller. Let's go smaller with it. Let's do it around 15%. And I like the way that metal grate in there is looking. And we'll do our gradient overlay and go ahead and use rainbow here. And then we can kind of do it over this direction, scale it up so it's definitely different color all the way across it change this mode to color and you can see here we're then uh, we then now have text that's definitely got some color in it and with that we're gonna go to our satin and probably change up the color variations here a little bit just to make it pop a little bit more kinda like that and that looks pretty good and I wanna go ahead and adjust this drop shadow here I wanna move the distance of it a little bit and put the spread up some more. I want it to be a prominent off the background text like so. And do an inner glow. Sometimes it can look good. So can an outer glow, just depending on what you're going for. care for that myself so I'm just gonna leave it alone we can make the stroke a little bit bigger or smaller depending on what we want and I like it I personally like it on the center like so making it a little bit bigger about like that and that looks pretty good so I hope you all enjoyed this quick font lesson on how to make some cool metal text with uh, coloring over it. And I hope you all will continue to subscribe, check out our YouTube channel, and also our website. And be sure to check us out on Google+, Twitter, and Facebook. You guys have a great day, and God bless.